The iPhone 5S is finally here, but is it worth the upgrade from the iPhone 5? Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocket Now. In this video, we're going to compare the 5S with the 5. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to do a bunch of speed tests and really see if there's a difference. But first, let's talk about how these guys look from the front. Here on the iPhone 5S, we have the fingerprint sensor down here surrounded by black metal. Now, if you get the silver version, this will be silver, or the gold version, this will be gold, which actually looks a lot cooler on the silver and gold models, because on the black, it kind of blends in. It doesn't really pop like it does on the silver and the gold uh, models. Now, if we kind of move this in the light, you can see that the home button is now flat, and it really doesn't feel flat because it still dips in a little bit, whereas on the iPhone 5 and every other iOS device, we get that concave home button, which feels nice because you can feel for it very easily, but similarly, you can do the same on the iPhone 5S because you've got a little ridge here. Uh, the, the, the metal sticks up just a little bit. Besides that, looking at them from the front, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference unless you had uh, color variation. Uh, going over to the side, they are the same, exactly the same. On the back, you do see another difference back here. Uh, the cameras are a little bit different. We've got a smaller lens on the 5, slightly bigger lens on the 5S, and you can kind of see that in the light. We've also got that dual LED flash. There is an amber flash and a white flash, only a white flash on the iPhone 5. What this will do is take pictures uh, that don't come out really like bright white. And we're gonna do a lot of camera tests comparing these in the final review uh, so you can see if that actually makes a difference and it really, really should. Now, we're gonna turn on these devices at the same time. Obviously, we're looking for the 5S to be significantly faster than the 5. It's got a 64-bit chip, which really should make a difference. So let's turn them on and see which gets on first. They're set up with the same backup, uh, so they're really running the same apps. Let's check it out, one, two, three, and... The iPhone 5S is already off to a faster start, and in iOS 7, the boot animation matches the color of your phone, so black and white. Okay, and the iPhone 5S got to the lock screen faster, significantly faster than the iPhone 5. And there we are. And right now it actually appears as if the brightness on the 5 is higher, so let's just equalize that for the sake of making this a fair video. And I'm just gonna turn on full screen brightness. And right away, you can tell that there's no difference between the screens. We've got a different wallpaper, sure, on the 5, uh, but if you look at like the Starbucks icon and the calendar icon, they're both the same amount of brightness. So what we wanna do now is open up some apps and see if there's a difference with the iPhone 5S. So we were just in settings. Let's do that again. Absolutely no difference there. Go back to the home screen. Let's open the Weather Channel app. A little bit faster on the 5S, definitely faster on the 5S. Let's go into Safari, and we're going to bring up pocketnow.com here at the exact same time. 5S got it done a lot faster, still going on the 5. And this is kind of funny, right, because the 5 is a very, very fast uh, phone. And let's scroll down the page and see what it looks like, see if we get any sort of checkerboards or anything like that. Very smooth on both, though it looks like it's slightly faster on the 5S. Let's go to another web page. We'll bring up... Favorites here, let's go to The Verge, go. Okay, that was actually faster on the iPhone 5 there. Let's go to another page. Let's go to Engadget Mobile. Oh, missed that, so instead we'll go to Gizmodo. And they're off, and iPhone 5S finished slightly ahead of the 5. Now let's launch the camera app. That's always super important. That always seems to lag a little bit. So one, two, three, go exactly the same. That's amazing. But here on the iPhone 5S, we have this new slow-mo uh, function, whereas we don't have that on the iPhone 5 because it takes a little bit more of that processor uh, to, to get there. Let's do a double tap on the home screen exactly at the same time. There are just really small differences. One place you'll definitely definitely notice it is in gaming, especially games that have been optimized for 64-bit. Asphalt 8 has not been optimized for 64-bit, but it gets a huge bump in loading time on the 5S. So one, two, three, go. So you can see splash screen happened first on the 5S. So that's pretty, pretty, a pretty big difference there. I clicked on that one first. And let's load the race. 
and we'll play a little bit of the game and see if we notice a difference. This is the most graphically intense game I can think of for iOS right now. We're a little bit ahead here on the 5S. Uh, I'm gonna try to play both at the same time. No, I'm not. I'll do one at a time. So here's the 5S. I'm usually pretty terrible at games, but I actually should be pretty good at this one. I play it a little bit too much. So graphics look really fantastic. You get the splatter effects on the screen and really no choppiness. Let's check out the, uh, the iPhone 5 here, which is on mute. And uh, similar performance, perhaps it's really tough to tell. I'd say that they're probably about the same and that's because it's not optimized for 64-bit. Uh, but we do get faster load times on the iPhone 5S definitely. Another thing you get on the 5S that you don't get on the 5 is fingerprint ID or touch ID as Apple calls it. So we can back out here and go into general and you can find the fingerprint passcode stuff down here. We did a separate video on that and we'll link you to that. Uh, but basically with the iPhone 5S, you can save some seconds by not having to type in a password for iTunes when you're downloading apps and for when you're getting into your phone from the lock screen, you don't have to put in your password if you have one. It's a time saver if you use a password, otherwise it's a little bit of a novelty. Uh, let's load YouTube because, you know, video takes a while to load sometimes and let's uh, swipe over here. We'll go to uploads and we'll play a video and see which queues up faster. So we just did that fingerprint sensor setup video, so tap it at the same time, one, two, three, go. A little bit faster on the 5S. Started first on the 5, which is very interesting. So a lot of the time, these two phones are very equal in terms of performance. Apps come up a little bit faster. Let's go to Spotify here. So as you can see, just a beat faster. It's really not that big of a video. Where we're going to see improvements is when developers start rewriting their apps for 64-bit. That might be weeks, it might be months, and you might not see any performance increases uh, if you have a 5S unless you're playing games. So the summary of this video is that the iPhone 5 is still a very fast phone, and if you're considering upgrading to the 5S, you gotta think about the camera, and we're gonna have some camera samples in our review. You also have to think about that fingerprint sensor, uh, because the speed difference really isn't tremendous, and so you have to keep that in mind. It might be wait worth waiting for the 6 if you have a 5 and you're thinking about upgrading. Uh, so that's it for this video, a little comparison of the iPhone 5 versus the 5S. Let us know if you have any questions. Drop a comment. Thanks for watching.